Why, hello there, everybody. How are you doing today? It's me, again. And again, I'm here to give you another update. And yes, still today, my phone still has not gone one ringy dingy yet. But I am quite sure. In fact, I am quite confident. In fact, I know that it is going to ring and my situation will be resolved. Why? Well, because the one who has established the law, the one who has authored the law, the one who gives the law its authority, has showed me and told me that my situation is over and done with. Why? Why? Well, because I have everything on my side. One, I'm not a criminal. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Two, I have, which means I have all of the law on my side, which means because I have a relationship with Almighty God, I have Almighty God on my side. And in the scripture verse today, what you're going to see is, if God be for us, who can be against us? I've just been doing what my God has told me to do, and look what's happened. Look what's happened. I'm removing threats. You see, that's why the fakes, the frauds, the counterfeits, the bullies, they hate believers like me. Because people like me, believers, do not tell you that you need me or someone else to help you accomplish something. We tell you the only thing you need is Jesus. Get into a relationship with your Creator. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. It does not matter what sex you are, and there's only two sexes, just to make that clear. And yes, you are either male or you are either female. God does not make any mistakes. Understand? If you, if you have any questions as to what your gender is, simply get naked and look down, and you can quickly figure out exactly whether or not you are, if you have an Audi, you are a male, if you have an Innie, you are a female. Just to keep it simple for you stupid people, okay? But I have a relationship with the one who, who authored said law, who has established said law, and who gives said law its, its authority. And I can see that I'm not the one that has violated the law. Oh, it's these fakes, these frauds, these counterfeits that have violated said law. Mm -hmm. So, that's how I know it's over and done with. Because again, I'm not, uh, I'm not counting on any of these criminals here in Jacksonville, Florida. And we've, I've got over a hundred of them. I've got over a hundred of them. And that's the problem that they're having with me is because I am not giving up my authority. I am not giving up my God-given authority to hold another accountable. And the reason why I have can hold another accountable is because, well, two things. First and foremost, one, I have taken an oath to my God. I'm born again. I've accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. He is the one that tells me what to do. I don't tell him what to do. He guides and, and, and he guides my steps and he tells me where to go, what to do, and what to say. And he tells me, of oh, his word tells me, to point others to him. To encourage others to do the very same thing. And all I have to do to make sure that other people do that is do what my God tells me to do. And then watch, and then see as believing. Then all of a sudden you see the results. And then, and then people's eyes are open and say, well, wait, wait a minute, that guy over there, 
he just he just accomplished something. Let's go find out how he accomplished something. I just trusted my God. That's how I accomplished it. Tell me, how did how exactly did Moses part the Red Sea? Exactly how did David kill Goliath? Hmm? Exactly how did Moses did, did Noah build the ark? Hmm? Exactly how? Hmm? Was that? Was that? Exactly how did Solomon become so wise? What's that? I can't hear you. Hmm? Exactly how did a bunch of fishermen from Galilee become mighty men of God? What's that? I cannot hear you. I'm going to tell you how. They all trusted Almighty God. That's all I'm asking you to do. And the control freaks hate that. The manipulators, the deceivers, the fakes and frauds and counterfeits trust that. Be hate that, should I say, because they want you to believe that you need them. No, my friend, it is the opposite. They need you to believe that they are in charge. Anyone who comes to you, I don't care if they if they have pastor in front of their name, I don't care if they have an R in front of their name or a D in front of their name. I really don't care what they have in front of their name. I don't care if they're a congressman, a senator, a president. I do not care who they are. If they say that you need another man in order to do for you, that another man has the right and the ability to define you, you're looking at a fake and a fraud. You are looking at an antichrist. Turn and run from them. Turn and run from them. They are lying to you. They are deceiving you. You don't believe me? Well, Christian, do you believe the word of Almighty God? Hmm? Do you believe the word of Almighty God? We're going to be real brief. Romans, Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Let me read that again. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? All I need is Almighty God, also known as Jesus Christ. You don't believe me? Let's keep reading. You a Christian? You read this book? Christian, read this book. It's in the Bible. Romans, now we're in chapter, now we're on verse 32. He that spared not his own son. Think about that, folks. We're talking about Almighty God, Father God, Abba God. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, believers and unbelievers, saved and lost, Jew and Gentile. Yes, even the little Islamists, even the Buddhists, even the supposed Satanists, he died for us all, folks. Get over it. You're not above anybody, and there's nobody below you. How shall he not, was verse 32, he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? In other words, how in the world, if we know him, if he was willing to give up his son, what makes you think he's not going to, he doesn't care about your little problems? Why do you not think he wants you not to do? 
Look at that. Light bulbs coming on. Start doing. Start doing. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Verse 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? Let me tell you what that means. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? How dare you tell, say to a believer, call a believer an unbeliever. How dare you? How dare you call a believer mentally ill? How dare you mock Almighty God by disrespecting that which he has called clean. Oh, you don't believe me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's keep going. Verse, it is God that justifieth, not man. No man can define you. No man can justify you. Also, no man can condemn you either. You start doing that, my friend, then you are operating God's jurisdiction and you, you don't, mm, son, mm, you need to repent is what you need to do. Verse 34. Who is he that condemneth? Uh-oh. It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us, us believers. Son, you in trouble. You in trouble. Because Almighty God is opening up people's eyes. People are repenting. They're holding themselves accountable. And we are tired of, of as in uh, verse 33, uh, having any, having a man lay anything to the char to our charge. I found out that you criminals have been calling, have stolen 20 years of my life. That's far outside of your jurisdiction. I'm about to get my 20 years of life back. Now says me, so says the law. I just read it to you. So says the, because so says the word of Almighty God. Because so says Almighty God. If you do not think that Almighty God is moving upon men's hearts. All you got to do is go back and watch that interview from on Fox, Fair and Balanced, my my gluteus, my gluteus Maximus, where he's where he unloaded on Chris Wallace. He said, "We are going to fix this." Who's we? Who's we? We the people. We live in a constitutional republic, folks. Now you can sit there. You can just keep sitting there and, and, and professing and allowing someone to lay something to your charge. Okay? But I and other believers are going to say, what shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? If I know that what I'm doing is setting people free, because that's exactly what I'm doing, I am tear I am destroying by the direction of the law and by the direction of Almighty God the the entire concept that there is someone in charge. Here in the, just to, just to keep it simple, stupid, we are a constitutional republic. It is we the people who are in charge, not somebody that's grabbed the title, not somebody who's been elect who's been voted in. You don't believe me? Go back and read the founding document. Which is, the, which is the Declaration of Independence, and you will clearly see that it says, hello, we put you in, but we can also take you out. And no, we do not have to wait until an election. That's a lie. You violate the law, then you are no longer, then you no longer meet the standard to hold the office, it's time to replace you. That's exactly what that, that, what that father said. That father lost a 14-year-old daughter in that school shooting, and he was one, he, he's not happy camper. He said, all you all want to keep talking about is gun control, when was, and you don't want to talk about the problem. We are here 
to bring to bring solutions to fix things, not keep keep kicking the can down the road. We are tired of lip service. We are tired of of being lied to. We are tired of being treated like little children. Fine. Bring out your little bring out your little distractions. Bring out the little kids. Fine. That's on you. That's not on me. I'm going to stay focused and I'm going to remove the threats. The threats are in all of these fakes and frauds and counterfeits. And what you're seeing is when you stand up to them, what did Chris Wallace do? Nope. Zipped his lip. Couldn't say a word to him. Oh, and he also called out the governor of the state. Because the governor doesn't want to deal with the problem. The problem is that fake and fraud sheriff down there in Broward County. We're tired of the fakes. We are tired of the frauds. It's time to remove the threats. You either meet the standard of Almighty God, or you don't. You either meet the standard of the office, or you don't. And if you do not meet the standard of the office, then you've got no business even being in said office. Not says me, so says the law. Why? Because so says the word of Almighty God, because so says Almighty God. Period. Again. What shall we, what shall we then say to these things? Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God be for us, who, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? With him also? With Jesus. Why? Because Jesus is not dead. He's alive. Jesus Christ is moving upon men's, men and women's hearts across this country. He's stirring it up and he's telling you, you are more than what that man says you are. Not says that man, says me, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now what are you going to do about it, son? Verse 33, who shall lay anything to us, anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. I am, I am washed in the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ. I have been made whole. I have been redeemed. Come on, come at me, son. And I'm going to tell others the very same thing. It doesn't matter who they know. It doesn't matter what, where, where, they, where they come from. And it does not matter what they have done. All you've got to do is repent. Turn away from it. But you control freaks. Y'all don't like that? Because then you can't bully. You can't shame anymore. You can't shame. You can't, shame, you can't blame the blameless. How about that? Verse 34. Who is he that condemneth? Uh-oh. It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is ever at the right hand of God? Who also maketh intercession for us? Well, folks... What does that mean? That means it's not my job to condemn. That's Christ's job. He's the one that died. He's the one that took upon all of our transgressions. Read the book, Christian. Stop doing busy work. Read the book. He suffered and he gave up the ghost and he went into the grave and on the third day Mmm. Mmm. He arose from the dead. And he's coming. He's coming again. And when he comes, he's going to find me doing exactly what he has directed me to do. I don't care who, you, who I offend. Because the last time I checked, Christ, Jesus Christ was the only one that died for me to save my soul. The last time I checked, He's the only one, he's the only one that after spending three days in the grave arose again. Mm -hmm. He is the only one, he is the only one who, who, who deems me clean. He's the only one 
that holds nothing against me. He is the only one who, you just got to know him. I know him. I don't have to prove to him that I, that I know him. I do not have to prove to anyone that I know him for my actions. My actions prove that I know him because I do not condemn another. I point out, I have the gall and the audacity to point out the fakes, the frauds, and the counterfeits because those are the real threats. I speak the truth by the direction of the law, by the direction of the word of Almighty God, and by the direction of Almighty God, by the direction of Jesus Christ himself. And I'm seeing results. Because more and more people, just like myself, just like that man down in South Florida, who lost, hey, he's not complaining, he's not saying, I need to be, I need, I need to be, he wants to solve the problem. He's going to make sure that, the, that, the, that, that what has happened to him, sounds familiar, what has happened to him does not happen to anyone else ever again. That's exactly what I told those criminals when I sent in that information. Don't believe me? Go to the Tube U channel. It's the first video. I read you the cover letter. What exactly, what exactly have they done to me? They are the threat. If God be for us, us, not just me, us, that's you, me, we the people. If God be for us, who can be against us? The only thing that matters, the only, the only thing that you have to decide, my friend, is what exactly are you going to do? Are you going to seek the face of your creator? Because if you do, he will give you boldness. He will make you a new creation. Or are you going to sit there and believe the fakes and frauds and counterfeits? I'm not mad at you whatever you decide to do. Just know it is you that's going to be held accountable for whatever it is that you do. There is no excuse. There is no, oh, they won't let me. Mm -hmm. They're not stopping me. They're not stopping that dad. It's, we, it's time for all of us to do exactly what I'm doing, exactly what that dad down there in South Florida is doing. Holding themselves accountable first and then holding those who have taken an oath to be accountable, hold them accountable. Inaction is an action when an action is required. Doing nothing is doing something when something needs to be done. The only question is, what exactly are you going to do? Just saying.